In this example, we want to find a general solution for a two component system differential equations and sketch a phase portrait for that system. So we have the matrix 2, 1, minus 4, minus 3. For these systems, our first thought is always to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors and try to use that to build a general solution. So first we hunt for eigenvalues, which we will find by the determinant of 2 minus lambda, 1 minus 4 minus 3 minus lambda, which is 2 minus lambda minus 3 minus lambda plus 4 lambda squared plus 3 lambda minus 2 is plus 1 lambda and then minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 which factors as lambda plus 2 lambda minus 1 so we have two distinct real eigenvalues so we're going to be able to find general solution by this method. So for the first eigenvalue at lambda equals 1 the matrix becomes 1 1 minus 4 minus 4 equals 0, which tells us that v1 plus v2 equals 0, so potential eigenvector here is 1 minus 1. And for lambda equals minus 2, we get 4, 1, minus 4, minus 1, v equals 0, telling us that 4, v1 plus v2 equals 0, or the potential eigenvector in this case is going to be 1 and minus 4. So now we can take this and try to draw our phase portrait because our general solution will be C1, 1 minus 1, e to the t, plus C2, 1 minus 4, e to the minus 2t. We can see right off the bat, since we have two eigenvalues of opposite signs, this will be a saddle point. We can draw the graph and add in our two straight line solutions. So our first one, which is purple, is 1 minus 1, e to the t, so then we on the line y equals minus x, or draw the vector 1 minus 1, which is here, and extend that into a straight line. And because that's e to the positive t, this will go away from the origin as time goes on. And our second in orange is one minus four, so drawing the vector one in x minus four in y is this way, up as a straight line and down as well. And this is e to the minus two t, so it's gonna go inward as time goes on. Now we can just sketch some trajectories from there. And we know we always have to follow the arrows. So if we start out here, we're going to follow this arrow coming in and come down to follow this arrow going out. Over here, we're going to follow this arrow coming in, hit that point we want, and follow this arrow going out. And same for the other two as well. For points further away, something out here, it probably looks something like coming in from the arrow over here, hitting this, and then going out this way to eventually approach that further and further down the line. So that's the general way you get the phase portrait for this system. Again, because I have eigenvalues of opposite signs, this is a saddle point. That's how you go about find the general solution for these sorts of problems by finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and then use that to then draw the phase portrait for these consequent coefficient homogeneous systems.